All right, Carter. As we do the do. Are you ready? Meow. Are you? Okay. I think so. Great. I hope so. (laughs) I hope you are as well. Okay. Where is the thing? Monday show. Here we go. Monday, Monday. Three, two, one. It's a Monday, and we're here to do Monday things. What were you talking about? We are talking about the return of the Monday show, yet it's on a Tuesday. In a proper, well, semi-proper manner. Yeah, one day late. That's okay. Uh, we didn't miss one last week. It's just we did no. it kind of remote. We did it on the couch, and it wasn't live, Mm-mm. and I was dying. Are you sad we didn't set up a camera and do a live thing? No, I look terrible. What do you mean you look terrible? I looked like I was dying. No, you just looked like you were somebody who had had a procedure. Procedure. Per- procedure. Procedure. Did I say procedure? You did say procedure. Procedure. <laughs> <laughs> procedure and uh that means that you were you know you were laid up yes for a little bit there but i'm better ish now two weeks of hardcore rest and now you just have to be careful yeah. don't lift stuff Today how long's is the, the two weeks what's the long length of don't lift things four more weeks of no lifting Jeez. i know i can't even do laundry according to my doctor which is really frustrating because then i have to hand it to mom and be like can you do my laundry so wait what if you did lift something what would happen the well, hole go so I, I don't know if like it would have any permanent, I don't know, but I did lift my laundry basket to like bring it into the laundry room yeah. and I realized why they say no lifting why? because it like made my, all my like abdominals just feel terrible. Really? Yeah. Like it hurt. It felt like getting punched in the gut. So, so we have a doctor in the audience. Dr. Tolbert, is this correct advice? Four weeks of don't lift even your laundry. Torn sutures, he says. Well, brace, could torn be bad, sutures, could be it. bad, don't do it. All right. Well, yeah. We're not doing it. Well, it didn't feel good, and so I'm not going to do it. No. But I am healing. I got my little scaries are like losing the scabs on them, which is disgusting. Yeah. She's got a ton of opioids. She's hooked on them. Yeah, totally. Actually, I think you only took one. I, that, t- I took... And wasn't that by accident? I think by... Th- I th- there were three days I took them. Three days? Because the first two days I needed them. Yeah. And then the third... Well, and then I skipped a day and then I accidentally took them instead of ibuprofen. Yeah. And you know what's weird? I didn't expect this. It came with a little... Dis- how to dispose of these yeah, when you're done. Yeah, this like powder that you're supposed to crush up and mix with them. I'd never heard of and that. And it's supposed to like kill it. It destroys the, the effect of it, yeah. which means somebody who's Basically actually... Basically dissolves it. ...hooked on those... Can't, can't find them. Can't find them can't or they won't work. Or you can't sell them, I yeah. guess, either. I didn't know that was a thing. I have a I have a blood thing on my nose. Can you see that? You have a blood thing? Yeah. A zit? No. Like a little blood point of blood. That doesn't seem great. Yeah. It's scabbed right now, so if I pick it, it'll bleed on well, air. Stop touching it then. I will. It's the triangle Goodness. of death thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, it keeps it safe from thieves. Although if the thieves don't know that you've disposed of it that way, well, they'd still break People in. People looking through trash bins if you just throw it away. That's hardcore. Stuff like that. I don't know. Addicts. Can you imagine such. being so hooked on anything that you just like crawl through trash to get it? No. What would be what would be your version of something you just had to have it and you were like, oh, I'm that dumpster sure looking good. Now. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I don't have anything like that. I don't that. either, actually. Well, neither I think of that's us are, good. You know what? I think you would do it if you were like off sugar and hungry and you saw a donut on no. top of a garbage bin. No. Like Although, Costanza style. I did Costanza style something a couple of weeks ago. I'm not mom. surprised. What was it mom did? Oh, it was her, her, she got like a milkshake ice cream oh, thing. Oh, it was the ice cream thing. And she threw half this thing away. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat it. Yeah, but it's a waste. I it's hate a waste of like a two dollar thing. So the cup had just gone into the top of the trash. So it wasn't gross in there. And then you made yourself sick. So I could no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was fine. The next day you felt terrible. No. Yes. Just embarrassed. Not terrible. I was fine that day. What are you talking about? I, I remember. Fine. No, that was after. Was that before or after I went to L.A.? Before. It was before. No. It was before L.A. <laughs> That's why we didn't have a show that one day. Yep. Because I was in L.A. Lala. LA, and I was preparing for surgery. Yeah, and it went well. Your surgery is a is completed. Yes. No. It's been two weeks exactly. Issues. You haven't had to call a doctor and go. There's something wrong. No, but it's starting to itch and it's making me. That's crazy. a good sign, though. That means how do you do that? Then how do you scratch it? You don't. You can't. You just. You just like are struggling for the rest of your life. Okay, that's the thing I would probably do is scratch my wounds. <laughs> scratch your scabbies. Yeah. It's it's bad. It's driving me crazy. The thing is, though, it's natural, obviously. The itching is natural because 
it means you're healing. Yes. But why, what is the evolutionary advantage of the itch for a human? I don't know. It's in people's, isn't there a bit of boop, 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 Isn't there a thing that's like itching is technically the same as like your pain re- responses, your pain like receptors? Oh. But it's like just very mild. Is it's that, something like that. Is that true? Like it's just a mild version of a... You've what? gotten rid of my chat. Sorry, oh, there I didn't mean you go. to do that. <laughs> a mild version of of like pain. pain? Is that true? Like I micro like, pain. I feel, like I feel like I heard that at some point, but I don't know if it's true. I feel like the reason we have Jerry here is so he can like debunk or confirm the following things that we say. Pain and itching are carried by the same nerves. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. So when I'm itchy, I'm actually very slightly in pain. Just very tiny pain. Oh. I don't know why. Why do we itch? Oh uh, yeah, why do we, it seems weird. That Humans we itch. are weird. Animals are weird. Everything about the mammal, the mammalian planet uh, Earth lifestyle. is strange. It is strange. And uh, I just want um, what's his name to to talk about me because yeah. you reminded me of his. Attenborough. Yeah, David Attenborough. How would you know what I meant? Because uh, I don't know. We're of the same blood. That's right. <laughs> That's how you, it works. You were birthed Speaking from of my DNA. Yes. Mammalian whatever. What? Uh, my dog barfed in this room not twenty minutes before you got home. Why? What? Don't know why she's she's yacked a patty on the wrong floor with her, dude. I don't she know. She barfs all the time. She's a stress barfer, and she's been extra stressed these past couple of weeks for obvious reasons. Yeah, and yeah, it was gross. And I was gagging in here and thought I was gonna puke for like a second. Was that bad? It was so bad. Well, don't breathe it in. It smelled so. Bad. Don't smell it. See, I this tried is the not. Trick. I was holding my breath. I tried to explain to you and your mom the the trick to this is you just don't breathe in. Or if you do, you breathe in through your mouth, which sounds gross. No, I know. I was trying to. Because now you're tasting their fumes. But it was so heavy <laughs> and wet. It was so gross. I guess I've been on barf duty for so long. You're just used to vomit? Just used to it. It's yeah. like a nurse. Like At a certain point, you're just like, yep, this is normal. Greenside in the chat says, Scott is always talking up Attenborough, LOL. I like him. Yeah. He's I think got a he's a good in, nature voice. He's an international treasure. He's a, one of those great humans that when we lose him, we are all less for it. Hmm. I have a list, a short list of these people. Would you like to know who's still alive that I think is a massive loss to humanity if they go? What happens if you say this list and then one of them turns out to be an awful person? Uh, well, we'll take him off the list. It's no big deal. <laughs> Pe- easy peasy. All right, so here your you list. go. Here's my list. David Attenborough's on that list. Mm-hmm. Um, Ken Burns, the documentarity. Got documentarity. Canary. Documentarian. Yep. Ken Burns is also on yep. there. Um, uh, Keanu Reeves is on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have two more. Hold on. Um, who else? What else would just rock my world if, if they were not here? Martin Short. I love Martin Short, but I don't think he's on the list. Mm-hmm. I love Steve Martin, but I don't think he's on the list. I mean, I love those guys. Yeah. I don't want them to die. I've been watching Only Murders in the Building, so they're in my brain. I feel like there's certain humans where when they go, we all we are, we don't have a good way to fill the void. Yeah, it's a bummer. Yeah. Betty White was a good example. She of that. was a good example of that. Yeah, and obviously life goes on. We figure it out. Yeah, but we continue onward. Yeah, but I it's can't a think bummer. Of People are saying Mel Brooks, Robin Williams. Those were hard ones. Oh yeah, the str- the hardest ones I ever had. Robin Williams is really hard. That one was rough. Still rough. Oh, you know what you should see hmm. the doc the uh, the trailer <laughs> for the upcoming Ow. Christopher Reeve documentary it's called superman or super space man okay the super of man uh it's his story because you know his whole deal right yeah he was superman then he got in that horrible accident on a horse yeah and couldn't you know paralyzed down yeah. for the rest of his life and uh died at 52 or something uh it's got robin williams in it because they were really close friends Aww. and it uh, that trailer about wrecked that's me. a rough one i mean that his whole story is rough yeah it really wrecks it makes me. me sad yeah i don't, I don't know, know if i want to watch it <laughs> i don't I, I do but i'm not i don't feel prepared right now to no say not at all but it doesn't come out till september and it's in theaters uh, maybe i'll take your mom oh someone says norm mcdonald oh that was a hard one yeah that was a rough one i don't know if that the world's can't fill the hole i miss his work but it's not like i don't think there ever will be a comedian like him again he was pretty unique. It's it's like I tell you about like noir films. Yeah. It, noir can never exist again. It can only exist in homage to original. 
right? No, no. So someone could do a Norm Macdonald kind of bit, but yeah. it will always be an homage to Norm Macdonald. It will never be its own thing. Yeah. It'll never be that comedy again. He is kind of a unique individual in that regard. Can I share something with you that's very different than what we just talked about? <laughs> sure. Check this out. I sent a ticket. I've been playing World of Warcraft. You might be familiar with it. All right. Um, the game, I, am, I mean. I am quite familiar with World of Warcraft. I've been playing a ton of it. I Griefed. leveled up to 80, did the main story. Can't wait for more. Today's the official launch of the full game yeah. for everybody. Anyway, I sent in a ticket because I had a bug I ran into. Got a bug ticket. Early on in expansions, there are bugs. I've submitted tickets before. Yeah. This ticket is, is a little weird. This is part of QA. Um, I'll read it to you and I'll also display it for those at home. The ticket was, uh, this is from, from me, I wrote, loot problem was the subject. My uh, description is okay. this. Vendor option to sell all junk items stopped working. I can do them individually, but the bulk sale icon is no longer working or no longer works. And I get a big red message saying the vendor does not want that item. But sold individually, he buys them all. Simple. Huh. Okay. There's a little thing with yeah, a gold. That makes perfect sense to when me. I can imagine it. Any vendor, you hit it, it goes, Are you sure you want to sell everything? You hit yes, and all the junk yeah, things just all. disappear. It used to be a mod, now it's built into the game. Yeah. All right. I thought that was really straightforward. Here's their response. Uh oh. And it makes me think a robot did it. Got okay. a little I AI response. And Here, I this is from support. Hello. If you are missing loot, Try to log out, log back in, and then check your in-game mailbox, as the Postmaster system will send your loot in the mailbox from the following activities. Instances, world bosses, one-time-only treasure chests. That was not at all what you talked about. However, the Postmaster will not send, and he tells me all the things he yeah. won't send. WoW Classic and Cataclysm Classic, unlooted items in WoW Classic, are not sent to your mailbox. Items that are looted will remain on the corpse until it despawns. This is nothing like what I asked. No, so when they asked at the bottom, did this it. answer your question? <laughs> No. Not even close. Did you read my question? I'm a little annoyed by it because I think it's robots. Yeah, they they saw like three words of like loot and something else and thought, oh, yes, but the th that's the, what he wants. The re see, and I don't even mind automation like that when that's the first layer. But I already did the thing where they're like, did any of these subjects help you first before you submit a ticket? Oh, yeah. And that was one of them. I'm like, mm, like no. none of these address it. Yeah. No, I need to talk. So it says you want to submit a ticket, which implies I'll be talking to a person. Yeah, that's so annoying. But they've also cut their customer service staff when they did that big layoff. Yeah. There's freaking, only so much. Freaking stuff, man. Ugh, robots. Uh, I don't even think it was a GPT. A GPT would have given me a better answer. <laughs> Should we see what they say if no, I go there? I bet you there's like trigger, like um, almost like, tag words mm -hmm. that it grabs and goes oh he said this word and this word which means he's probably talking about this which just sends the automatic response um, because the likelihood that that actually went to a person is super low and like clearly it's not chat gpt because it would take in more words than just like the keywords yeah i don't know yeah you might be right of warcraft okay wild Warcraft. check it out i said what if the vendor I sell? Uh, ha, what if the vendor sell all junk button stops working in World of Warcraft? Are you referring to the button for selling all gray items in World of Warcraft? Yes. <laughs> you might want to check if there's an add-on interfering with the with. Sorry, an add-on interfering if there is such a glitch. Try resetting your UI or relogging. If the issue persists, update or restall the add-on could help. It is not an add-on, but I'm already getting further. Yeah, you're already getting like on topic information. It is built into wow now. Got it. The built in sell all junk button isn't working in World of Warcraft. Here are a few things to try. Restart your game, check for updates, reset the UI. I've done all this. Verify game files, check bindings, uh, key bindings, rebind the button, contact Blizzard support. <laughs> well, they're not helping me either, but they sound like they know more. They at least are acknowledging your problem. Thanks, Chat GPT. You're great. Hmm. Um, yes, he still works there, Greenside. <laughs> uh, let's move on to Carter while you've been preparing. Well, so two, basically two weeks almost exactly, mm -hmm. you had, prior to your surgery, purchased tickets to go to a Ren Fair, yes. which I've never been to. And as far as I know, I don't think Utah gets them very often. No, I think this is the first one. Yeah. Which is weird. It seems as like the perfect place know. for it. There's a lot of nerds here would love this A stuff. lot of nerds, a lot of big open spaces in southern Utah. So you went, though. Or mid-southern. Right? Yeah. I, it was, I did not realize how soon after my surgery this would be. So it was the week 
the last weekend. So I had been a few days ago. Yes. Saturday. 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 We went Saturday. That's the day I played WoW all day. Yeah. You had a whole day of WoW. It was great. Wow. Um. But yeah, no, we <laughs> went. It was really fun. Yeah. It, I went with my three other friends, four of us. Yeah. And it was great. It was super cool. It was funny, though. We got there around 10, 30, 11. No, mm-hmm. we got there like 11, 30. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. And it opens, I think, at 10. And we got in and I was like, oh, it's like a little busy, but it's not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Walked around, went to all the vendors and my friends bought a couple things. It was great. Then we went to the, um, the uh, what are they called? Uh, dirty monkey. The horses chicken. that run into each oh, other. The uh, jousting. 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 Yeah. Went to the jousting thing, yeah. which was super duper fun. Yeah. So many people. Oh my gosh. We We got like a really good seat because we went early, but my goodness, that place filled up. It was really fun. And then as we left... Yeah. I have never seen so many people in such a space. And this is a big park we're in. Yeah. And it was like concert like concert venue crowd of people. Yeah. Everywhere. Why 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 I don't know. Hmm. But we got out of there maybe around 3 or 4. Yeah. And so like I think just more people were showing up and it was so insane. I have never been to anything that has been that crowded. So it seems to me that this is a great place for a Ren Fair. It was a great place for a Ren Fair. People showed up in numbers. People had a good time. They need to limit some of the some of the stuff some though. Because sh- my gosh, i it was so many people. But it was cute. We we dressed up all cute, which was really fun. Well, at least you can get COVID like the rest of the planet. Oh my gosh. Well COVID's we also really bad right very now. avoid people. Here I can do you want to see what we all dressed up as? Yeah, let's see it. I'll send you the or I could just show you. Or I know send it and then I put it up on it. the camera. Hold on, you guys. Please send. Oh, my gosh. This is from you, right? Father. Yeah. I'm just going to airdrop it to you. But yeah, we were in cute little outfits. My one friend had like a moth theme going. Yeah. Which was really cute. Nothing wrong with that. Why can't I get to this? Hello. 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 Where's my folder? Me and Alicia, oh, we we're go. going for kind of a pirate vibe. Did you achieve piracy? We achieved piracy. That's fantastic. Is this sending still? It said it sent. You do that do you again. Want me to do it again. Yeah, it's not showing up for some reason. Okay. Zero bytes. It says. Okay. She's <laughs> dropping again. Waiting. Hold on. Waiting. Stop. Waiting. Okay. This is massive entertainment. I know. Eclep. Accept. Eclept. Eclept. It says declined. You. It says you declined it. I just accepted it. It just says it failed. Do it oh, one yeah. more time. One more time. Okay. <laughs> Accept. This is the worst. It's, oh, Sending? it worked that time. Sent. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. All right, check this Another out. Cute little Viking boat. We yeah, ate fair food, which was fun. I got this like potato thing that was like made thin and like up a stick. It was a potato stick. No, wait. I need to know which friends we got here. We got Alicia, who's all piratey next to you. Yeah. You got, what's her name that told me about Red Rising and, and then I read the books and I loved them. Correct. And then the other side you have someone I don't know. That's Marissa. Oh, Marissa, the really good artist who yes. got, gets big gigs. <laughs> you do and, know her. <laughs> okay, I do know her. This looks like fun. Where was this? This was in Mona. Where's what the hell's Mona? Mona is past. It's like south Mona. past. Mona. Um, <laughs> what the hell is that stupid city called? Uh, who's the Spanish boss? Spanish Fork. It's who's, past Spanish Fork. Who's the boss city? It's past Mona. <laughs> Spanish Fork. <laughs> okay, so so it's that's south. not it's not too far. No, it's like an hour and a half. Before, oh, it's after here. Provo, then. Ish. Yeah, way after. Springville? After Springville. After Spanish Fork. After Payson. After Payson. That's a pretty good drive. It's a decent drive, but it was uh, really nice, really fun. I, I mean, I like driving past cows. Hmm. It's always a delight. Mona. But I did, it was, I thought I was fine mm-hmm. from my surgery. I was like, okay, I'm feeling okay. I need to take little breaks here and there. We'd sit for a little while or whatever. Everyone needed breaks, though, because it's, you know hot and yeah windy and you need water yeah so been there i was like i'm fine i'm doing good and then we left and i'm in the car home i was like oh i'm not feeling great like i'm a little sore and kind of tired we get to my friend's house where we are ordering pizza because yeah. we're like we're starving let's go hang out Ooh, pizza! i crashed good. so hard on their couch <laughs> just oh, dead to the world wait did you did you sleep wait you crashed on their couch yeah oh no wonder you didn't sleep that night because you came home and had a horrible night's sleep. Well, the reason I had a horrible night's sleep is because I was so sore that I couldn't fall asleep again. Oh. 
Like I just, it was. You should have taken. I one overdid of your it. Heroin pills. <laughs> I overdid it, and I didn't even realize I overdid it because I didn't notice until after we got home. Well, yeah, no, like it's a lot what you did, yeah. and that was your first major activity since having the thing. And it was a pretty major activity. A lot yeah. of walking. So how nerdy is it? It's full of like super nerdy people in full D and D style stuff. So how much magic is allowed? Because it's Ren Fair. Is magic allowed? You know what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Is it? It's all like wizards and okay. dragons and. I thought they had to stick to some historic rules. I think there. there's Ren Fairs that do. Yeah. But it was like just mostly for fun. Did anyone? Uh... My dog is downstairs whining at the door. Is that her at the door? Uh huh. She's not gonna puke, is she? I shut the the door thing. Who I brought mean, her she, down? She probably went under it. Maybe that's that. not good. No, it's not good. Your dog's a psycho. She has attachment disorder. She does. Do you want to let her in? No. Okay. She'll be worse. I have decided that when I do get a job and I can afford it, yeah. the first thing I'm doing is getting her into some training <laughs> to help her with this. I don't think that. Not I to think, fix the problem, but just to get some I think it might be. Help. She might be done. Like she's locked in. No, she's young. She's like three. What is this? Four. What? Look, oh, Jerry will like this. Old. By the way, only video can see this. Check this out. This is such an old man thing. I got this on, <laughs> I got this on Amazon. It's called a Theracane. And it's great because it has this great, you can hold it right here and like find a knot in your back and go, oh, look at that. The Theracane. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. Old man cane. Old man cane. I like that you're showing off to your friend <laughs> just in the chat. Yeah, just like, people hey, in the chat. Hey, look how I'm taking care of myself. Hey, you guys, check it out. Uh, well, all right. So you go again, though. Ren Fair's fun. Super fun. Mm. Really Tip, enjoyed it. Uh, what does it cost to get in? Just curious. I don't know. You don't know what Alicia you bought paid. the tickets and she hasn't Venmo requested me yet. Oh, maybe she I did. I think it was like 20 bucks oh, around. So it's not bad at all. Yeah. That's what you expect in Mona, Utah. Mona. Mona. It was fun, though. Good. Um, and no, like, turkey legs or anything. Like, so, they had turkey legs. Oh, they did? Oh, you don't I eat don't meat, eat meat, though. but yeah, my no. friends got one. I got these, like, sticks of potato sticks of potato it's like a swir- it's like a if you took a potato and like <laughs> corkscrewed it oh yeah, yeah and then you put it on a stick and fry it yeah and then there was this soda place that was so good it was like this massive thing of drink it was technically water but they put a bunch of flavors and stuff in it and it was like this massive fruit water and it was the best oh fruit water i could tell you but if they're making it they didn't do anything car- carbonated did they they had like regular water and carbonated that's water. that's not ren fair that's some bullshit that's what that is <laughs> It's just a it's just a festival, really. Okay. It's well, fun though. They had cute little minstrels everywhere. They had a town crier that you could pay to just like yell stuff. Yeah. There was someone who proposed that way, which was cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. While we you were saw, there. Yeah, we saw him do like the hear ye, hear ye, this man proposeth to this <laughs> la-. like it was really cute <laughs> and silly. Did did uh was it hot, humid and wet? It and was weirdly sweaty. it was hot but and sunny, but it was really windy that day. That's the day we got all those oh, uh, that was good wind. dust storms. It was good wind if you were in the right place. So there it was great because it was like we yeah. got this good breeze, but also we came home and we're covered in like dust. Yeah. Like we did like we all washed our faces because we were like gritty. There were severe uh, fire hazard spread warnings, whatever you want to call them, all day because the West Desert had such high winds and high gusts that if there was any fire of any kind, it would just, it would just spread like spread crazy. Like wildfire. Would not be surprised. Literally wildfire. It was crazy wind. Yeah. But it felt well, good, good while we were there. That's good. We would have baked otherwise. Did it make you sneeze? Yeah. Because of the dust? Yeah, it did. was not good. What if you sneeze so hard and like, a, I don't know piece of muscle just flopped out of there what would you do like a hemorrhoid not a hemorrhoid not, like a what, hemorrhoid. not a hemorrhoid what's it called a hernia hernia a hemorrhoid <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> you don't put cream on a hernia oh. and you don't do surgery for her- no that's not true you can't do surgery yeah. for a hemorrhoid and you, there might be cream for a hernia probably probably i had one on us too it's just a scar now i didn't have the i was you know it was back before they figured out how to cut holes in people and run cameras through there yeah. So it's now we got robots. Just like, Open it up. Robots. Robots. Uh, all right. Well, that's it for the rent fair thing. Yeah. It was great. It was um, fun. You were pretty unhappy, though, the next morning because mom couldn't sleep. So she got up at like 5 30, 6 in the morning. And that was not, that was not Sunday. That was Monday. Was that Monday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Monday. Yeah. She's banging dishes around. Oh, my gosh. So she woke up <laughs> at 6. Well, she said she woke up at 5 30. She did. I can confirm. And then I was up then too. I, so I was sleeping on the couch still because I, I only have slept in my bed last night. Is like the first time I've slept right. in my own bed for a while because right. 
It was, was it too comfy? Hard. It was good though. It was good. Although I woke up very sore. Really? I don't know why. Because it's just different? Probably. Oh. And plus, I have to keep the cat off me during the night, which is ridiculous. Whatever. Well, he sucks. He's such a sweetie. He just get, wants love. We but need to trade him in for a new model. I can't give him love. He's old. Don't, how, don't you dare. Old. He's like, how old is uh, uh, Rainer? Oh, 2015. So Nine? almost 10. Yeah. yeah. So he's probably eight. He, we got our, him about a year after Rainer. Well, I don't remember that. Did mm-hmm. we? Yeah. Time isn't even Time makes, sense. makes no sense. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, the point is, I was on the couch, yeah. 6.30 in the damn morning. I hadn't slept well the, that night or the night before. In the damn morning. And she gets up and she starts doing dishes at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. And it's loud dishes. It's like big pots and pans that need to be cleaned. Yeah, you weren't happy about that. And I was like, that's... I Well, I rolled over and I was like, Mom, you're being so loud. And she's like, it's not even that early. And just kept going. Yeah. And so finally, I grabbed my blanket and my pillow and I dragged them to my room. Yeah. And I crawled onto my bed and slept for like four more hours. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm glad you did. I'm healing. I don't know why she got it in her brain that it would be okay to just like banging around the kitchen at 630 in the morning. Can you see this? Hold on. Well, let me pull it over there. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to show you it here. I'll put it up here. What are you doing? Do you see that? Oh, it's a puppy. Yeah. Hold on, chat. I'll show it to you guys too. Oh shoot! <laughs> this is Tanner. This is Tanner's new dog. Another and that's new Alex. dog. Yeah. So well, no. Did we talk about it last week? What? Another dog? No, maybe. This is I don't well. Know. They've had a, they have a other dog. That's like an older dog. Yeah. This is the new dog they've added to the dog pile. The pile of dog. The pile of dog. Yes. It's a great movie. Pile of dog. Pile of dog <laughs> by Wes Anderson. West um, Wes Anderson. <laughs> we have some other emails that we're going to get to before I ask you your next big question. It's all about grilling Carter today because yeah. she's, you know, she's been through some stuff. Uh, here we go. <laughs> this is for the Monday show. In the most recent episode, Carter talked about an experience she had at a church event. That experience was somewhat negative. Did mm. she have any fun memories at any church activities? How do you both feel about raising kids in a church environment? My wife and I have been thinking about whether we want to involve our son in the church when he's older. Uh, she had good experiences. I didn't. Thanks. That's a good question. It is. Let's answer the first one first. Um, do we have any good experiences? Or do I have any good experiences? All of mine are when I was teaching little kids. Yeah, I, I liked teaching. It was fun. It was fun. Kids are great. Especially because they're smart and... Not just smart, but they're... Like, like ask like good questions. Untainted and... by lame adulthood. Yeah. So they're just like... Like 9 to 10 to oh, 11-ish year olds, the best the age. Best so age, much fun man. to teach. They're so much fun. They're all having a good time. They you all love to Pokemon. draw on the board and all that stuff. Yeah, and they love art. Growing up, though, I will say, like, beyond, like, there were church activities that were, like, fun activities. Yeah. But whether or not they were, it was because it was the church is debatable. <laughs> it could have been any, it could have been, like, let's go water skiing with a yeah. group of friends. Like, or we went, we would go, like, fishing and boating in, whenever I was a young teenager before yeah. we moved. Because yeah. we lived right by the lake. That was great, but that's because we were fishing and you on live a boat. By, and you live by a lake. You live by a lake. Yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, a sports night where you play volleyball or you do whatever. Like, that stuff's fun, but it's not because it's a church activity. It's because yeah. playing sports is fun. Yeah. And Sundays aren't fun. No. They're, they're no. not fun. The amount, I realized, so I stopped going to church at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. I was never really super into church. No, I know. And religion. Even when you were little. Yeah, I was yeah. just kind of like going along because I had to kind of thing. Well, let me tell you from a parent's perspective, our our thing the entire for the entirety of raising our kids when they were little yeah. was always like, sure, this is fun. We're doing this stuff. But it was never like, you guys have to do what we tell I mean, you to do. There was a little bit of that. Not but it's really. because you guys thought that that was what you're supposed to do. Well, I not, don't blame you. We never, not there once was, did I say, Carter, you are, here are the strict rule. There was, you have to go to church on Sunday. That was not who, negotiable. Who told you that? Mom. Oh, I never did. You can blame mom. because <laughs> you didn't want to go either. Yeah, I was, I wanted to stay home. Uh, There were rules about like, <laughs> I got in trouble with a few teachers and that usually ended up with being like, you got to be respectful and that's not... Well, that's, that's not a bad rule. You but should be respectful. I know. I did not get along with some of those teachers. Well, that's because they were some of them were lame. Some of them are lame. Yeah. Um. Anyway, there were a few. Like, for example, you have to give a talk if you're asked to give a talk in church. 
You don't have to. That was the rule. You can say no. No, yeah, I couldn't. Well, could. not according to you guys when no, I was young. That's not true. That is not true. In fact, the one time where true. you said no, I went ahead and did it for you. Remember that? I didn't say no. I had a panic attack in the bathroom. Yeah, and I went, well, I'll that wasn't do it. saying no. No. But I said yes to the thing. <laughs> but it's you because never I to was told yes. all the time if you get asked, you, you have to say yes. That's not true. It is true. Not for mom and I. Yes. No, mom won't even do it. But she mom hated it. made us do it. No. Yes. I don't think she made it. I think it you're confusing yourself now with how you used to be. I didn't know. That is that is not true. <laughs> that is you guys, you in particular, having a weird memory of it. Mm-mm. No, that's I the truth. I was told several times. If you ever if you said to asked, me, Dad, I don't want to do it, I'd say, it's okay. You don't have to. 100% I but would say that. I was told you have to do it if you're asked. And that is, well, I'm was sure enough someone, for me to go, told okay, you. I guess I'll do it. Someone told you, but it I didn't. you guys. Whatever. No. It's fine. It's okay. I don't blame you. You were also trying to do what you thought was best. The I'll, point no, is... It, that is just not true, though. I am a sucker for this. All either Any one of you three come to me mm-hmm. and say, Dad, I but, can't do it. But we I didn't. would say, it's okay. You but don't need you to. You know why we didn't? Why? It's because the rule was already set up. Okay, but I didn't when set we the rule. When we were told... Yeah. Whether it was you or mom, we, we were told, hey, you can't say no to this. Mom did it. Then. Probably mom. Yeah, I blame mom. Like, hey, you which can't say no to this. Then I'm not going to say no, which means I'm not going to come to you and go, Dad, I don't want to do this because I thought the rule was in place. <laughs> well, that's hilarious because your mother hates public speaking. Oh, completely. And turns it down constantly. The point is, I realized <laughs> after I stopped going to church, how much anxiety I had on Sunday from going to church. Really? Yeah. That kind of like, went away for you? It stopped completely. When the pandemic hit and I didn't have to anymore, all of a sudden I was like, oh, that's where that was from. I literally would spend s- Saturday nights feeling like I was going to throw up and I didn't know why. Really? Oh, yeah. Just to go. Just to go. You never told me that. And I would have like really upset, not upset stomach, but like gir- like kind of upset stomach, like gurgly stomach you issues while I was in church because I was just like. Just crop Ugh. dusting the building. Basically. Walking around. It was not good. Yeah. You see. So I ne- I personally never really had a great experience with church. It made you stress out. Yeah. You it was stressful. It all wasn't you fun. had to say to me, Nick did this too when he was little. He's like, he couldn't do it or he couldn't sit there and couldn't sit still. So we'd get up and go. We'd walk around the, the outside for, for like an hour. Oh, yeah. I mean, the only Skipped thing that made it tolerable thing. was drawing in, in the, the yeah, parts we where we could draw. draw. We would draw on our iPads. And yeah. That was tolerable. But we play add-on, family add-on. But we could have just done that at home. No, you're right. We could have. <laughs> you're absolutely right about that. But yeah, what were the other questions? Uh, the other one was, oh, how do you both feel about raising kids in a church environment? I think that it depends on the family and your yeah. own personal whatever. It's really up to you because I don't think, I think certain circumstances are better for certain people and not for others. I think kids should all have an opportunity to choose things for themselves. Yeah. Whenever that is. Like educate them as much as you can. Yeah. And then they get to pick. It's a fine line though. Slippery slope as the kids yeah. say. You know. Slippery slope. Because at some point you might think you're doing absolutely the best thing for your kid by saying, No, if you go every week, you're gonna be you'll be fine, you'll be this or be that. And that's a parent maybe putting too much trust in how that works. Yeah. What you should do instead is my advice just always keep an open don't let a church raise your kid either oh hell i no. knew so many people who were who parents thought that all morals would come from going to whatever church they belong to yeah and i that's bad don't do that they shouldn't come you should be there. teaching your kids values and things and not expecting a organization to do it for you i agree it's, it's probably not great full agreement yeah here's one. Oh, it's another similar uh, Carter was talking about her experiences at EFY and went uh, and went on to say that your style can be a barometer for seeing who sucks. Mm, yeah. You still think that, right? I do think that, especially now. My previous manager put gauges in his ears for the exact reason. He wanted to know, based on others' reactions, who he wanted to work for, uh, who he wanted to be friends with, and so on. He was the best manager I ever had and a very good friend, but he constantly got accused of stirring the pot because he wasn't a yes man. Yeah. Sticking it to the man. Stick it to the man by being a good person and not taking people's garbage. Well, parents, is, or they mean nothing. No, they I mean, mean nothing. No, they I really mean, don't. There's always a certain line of like, if you're covered from head to toe in like... Pig's blood. Full tattoos <laughs> and like, you know what I mean? Like, full, like, let's say you have a full 
face tattooed like all over. Yeah. Right? At a certain point, you can't expect necessarily to get the same jobs as someone who doesn't have that. No, nobody's going to hire you to be the receptionist at the dentist office. I don't think that that makes you a bad person or either. changes you at all. I don't But either. I do think... You're butting up against society, though. Yes. And um, you have to yeah. understand... You have to at least know that. that. you're part of this. Yeah. Know that, knowing that, you know... This you was an that, issue on TikTok where... Like people would post like, I got all these face tattoos and I got, there was one girl who had like sclera tattoos, What's which sclera? I think were cool. That mean? It's the white part of your eye. Ugh. So they black out the white part of your eye. I heard that, I heard that like, was super risky. It can be. Yeah. It, you can like go blind. Anyway. Yeah, why would you do that? She had full face tattoos and that and a bunch of piercings. And she was like, I've been discriminated against because I wanted to work at this kindergarten. And it was like, you, yeah. you can't expect yeah. to have made these choices. I mean, it's not like... I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? No, you're absolutely it's not right. quite discrimination when it's, it's something not. you've chosen to do to yourself and yeah. then expect to be treated. If the gig is... And expect the world to just accept it when you know that the world is not as accepting yeah. as that. Yeah. Otherwise, what are, you, what are you know parents at a daycare are going to walk up and go, well, that looks like the worst th- person I've ever seen because that's my brain just goes yeah, to, well, they must be you know, awful. And yeah. so you put yourself in a situation where at the very least, you're going to have to dig through layers of judgment constantly. Yes. Do you really want that to be a part of your job hunt? Like, I don't know. Tot- yeah. Like you have to expect certain things based on how you look. Yeah. Like I, I personally think everyone should just be able to do whatever, of but course. we live in a society where that's not true. We live in a society. In a society. Like George says. Uh, Carter, here's one for you for the Monday show. Hi, Carter and Scott. Just want to know what games you two are looking forward to this fall or winter. I know Scott is really looking forward to the Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 game, but I have no clue what kind of games that Carter enjoys. Thanks, Matt B. Do you have anything that you're like, like what's the new one that just hit today or this week is the new Star Wars, um... I'm going to be honest. I suck at keeping up with the stuff. What's it called? Star I Wars. I love video games. Rebel Lady with a dog she runs around with or something. Sure. What's, what's it called? Rebel Lady with a dog. Chat, you know the name. It's the name of this thing. But I outlaw, people are saying. Star Wars Outlaw, yeah. It looks pretty neat. Um, reviews oh, are pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I think I'll probably just do, if I'm going to play that, I'll probably just do the monthly uh, you play subscription mm. for as long as I play it. Yeah. So, which is cheaper than, because that game's 70 bucks at a minimum. Yeah. So I'll just spend 15 and play it quick. Play it for a month and go. Yeah. I think I'm done. Or if I want it more, I'll play another month and then I've only spent 30. Yeah. You know, got to think that way. I, uh, I'm i really bad at keeping up with what's coming out. I love playing video games and I love most games. Yeah. I'm not picky most of the time. If a game is good, I'll play it. Depend Like not depending on genre at all. Yeah. But I'm bad at keeping up with those now. Yeah. I, mean, I never I, know I'm, what's coming out. I'm pretty good at it. I think. You have to for your job. There's a new one called Space Trucker. Ooh, that sounds cute. It sounds like something I would play the hell out of. Let's see if I can find it. There's that Star Zelda, Trucker. There's that Zelda game coming out that looks fun. September 3rd. Yeah. It basically are long haul trucker in space. That's and your fun. Sh- and your ship kind of looks like a... Big clunker. Yeah, like a... <laughs> I love that. It looks like a semi with a big thing on the back. But space it's got... junker kind of vibes are my favorite. Oh, that's like, my, Yeah, I love oh, it. Space pirates. Big chunky ships. Redneck space pirate yeah. stuff i love all that crap. i love space stuff where it's practical and not at all exciting anymore where yeah. people are like oh i gotta make my haul to mars and it's just like monotony yeah i there's love something, that stuff. there's something about that that's why i like shipbreaker so much it was basically that yeah um that comes out on this third i'm, I'm looking forward to that most of my interest this year is in indie stuff yeah indie's um, been awesome this year except space marine too which is Big AAA game. And from what I'm hearing, it is shaping up real good. So I am looking forward to playing the hell out of that. I also can't afford games right now. <laughs> yeah, Carter's in the, she's so, in the penny pension mode. Yeah, so it's a lot of like, ooh, what's on Game Pass? If y'all have, uh, if, if any of you own a small game studio and you're looking for a great remote artist. Not even necessarily remote. Or not I'm even necessarily remote. <laughs> Carter's your, is your woman. I am. I don't like calling you a woman. Is that weird? I don't know why, but it is. It is weird. It's kind of gross. You're supposed to just be a kid Stop forever. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like that. I was looking at old photos today, and you guys were all so freaking cute. And I'm like, I can't call them women. That's what they are. Or men. Call Nick a man. Hello, no, Nick. No, ew, Hello, no, ew. Hello, man. Freaking that's effed up. Hello, man. I don't like it. Um, ew. All right. We'll take a, <laughs> take a quick break on the uh, emails while I ask you this question. All right. For some reason, Carter and her friend, Alicia, are watching... Anne of Green Gables. Mm-hmm. 
And to me, this was like my sisters <laughs> loved this. Yeah. Sisters I mean, were way into it. 1985 was when the first yeah. ones came out. Yeah. And they're Canadian, which I didn't know that yep. until you guys told me. Uh, the whole story is set in Canada. I didn't know that. And I know there's a whole generation, especially of women slash girls who grew up on that, loved it, swear by it, whatever. Yeah. I, I, can't I do have it. never seen it. That's why we're watching it. Okay. I've never watched it in my life. I didn't even barely knew what it was. I knew it was like about a red haired girl, and that's it. And let, see, and I always think of Pippi Longstocking, which is a whole different thing. But it's this it's like the braids <laughs> and the red hair. Yeah. I get it. But it's this young, spunky girl. She's who, sassy in the early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. She's breaking all the rules. Yeah. And making and she lives on an island in Canada. Oh, I didn't realize it's an island. Yeah, it's is an that island. Green Gables? The Green Gables is her farm, and the island is Prince Edward Island. Oh, that's a real thing. Is it really? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, so I've, I've been watching this first time. Alicia's watched it. Mom walked in the other day and was like, oh, is this Anne of Green Gables? Yeah, mom, mom got excited. Because mom was yeah. all into this as a kid. Yeah. Because she was only allowed to watch certain things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's fun. I mean, is it's it? It's 80s as hell. Do you feel like you're... How do I put this? Becoming more... Uh, do you think there's stuff that's... Like plenty of men and women, boys and girls, yeah. liked Star Trek The Next Generation. Yes. But it's, I think, fair to say that some things are more aimed at males. Some things are aimed more at females. Yes. And it felt like Marketed Anne of Green towards. Gables was aimed right at girls. Yep. Right? Yeah. But for me, it was like, you know, the A-team and freaking Knight Rider or whatever. <laughs> and... I don't. I just don't know how that stuff holds up over time any more than the boy stuff does. Although, like, Brave Star was for boys, but you love Brave Star. I love Brave Star. I love. I like good things. Well, but that also comes from you guys never push those like boy girls things no, on us. No, not really. Like, you could have played with Tonka Trucks Powerpuff and I would have been girls. Fine. We love Samurai Jack. We yeah. loved Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. None of these things are, you know. I was, and a, they're all Saturday morning cartoons, but none of them are quite the same. I was a proper father. I raised my a kids to like father. all animated content. But yeah, we like we watch everything. So I've never really thought, especially growing up, never really thought like, well, this is for girls or this is for boys. Right. I just did whatever. You just did whatever. And sometimes Usually doing whatever. I didn't care about things unless they had like an animal involved. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Anna Green Gables is not. It's good. It's charming. It's fun. It's made me cry. Did it? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah bawling <laughs> i'm shocked by that <laughs> there's one part that just made me like lose it do you want to see something that might make you cry now sure you don't want to no i really air, don't do know i have a thing i have to send you no so i put it in the group chat family chat you oh watch. yeah Did you I, watch it? I saw it and i went mm, that's gonna make me no, cry you need, and to I watch it. It. you need to watch it it will give you hope in the universe okay i'm serious it's british too so you know we that, love the british helps. we love the brits um Somebody wrote for the Monday show, kitten gets sucked up by a Roomba and then sent a video. <laughs> well, I don't know why I want to see this. but <laughs> I feel like we're going to get marked for this or something. All right. Let's just, I'll put it up. All right. It's a short um, YouTube's version of TikTok. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to hit play. <laughs> it's fake. Yeah, but where'd the cat go? I've seen the actual video and I'm pretty sure it just pushes the cat. Oh, they did a little. Yeah, I can it's see a little the animation. Edit. Yeah. All right. Jeez, <laughs> I like the noise it made, though. That's pretty good. Here's one uh, from McFerrick. McFerrick. I always get that with fries and a shake. Mm. The McFerrick. It says, hey, Scott and Carter. Uh, sorry, you two have often talked about your mutual love of King of the Hill. Mm. It's always good to see you, Scott, posting the occasional Hankisms. I do it all the time when I'm watching them. I'll capture video or yeah. I'll... They're I use great. audio all the time on the shows and stuff. I, I freaking love them. Anyway, it says, I too have a deep love for King of the Hill, but it wasn't always the case. There was a time when I was young and I thought the show was, or I think the show was still airing new episodes that I genuinely could not stand it. How wrong I was. Question is, if either of you disliked something that was widely popular, either TV or a movie, that during its popular run, you have since grown to enjoy? If so, what? So hated it when it was on, loved it later. Love the show and I'm glad you're on the Mend Carter. Uh, says McFerrin. Thank you. Um, so, funnily enough, King of the Hill. Funnily enough? Funnily enough. I don't think that's a word. I'm pretty sure funnily is a word. Uh, maybe at Westlake High School, but not in the real world. Funnily? Funnily. There's no way. Hold on. Anyway, while you look that up. Um, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, is it here? Yeah. Funnily. All right. Like funnily enough. In a funny manner. Yeah. In a strange or unexpected manner, especially a coincidence, in a strange manner. Are you kidding? Funnily. Funnily. I, I'm shocked by this. Funny. Oh. <laughs> funny. Funny. Ow. Propinquity. What? <laughs> What's happening? Propinquity. Propinquity. What does that mean? Uh, I'll tell you. Propinquity. Um, is a formal word that mm-hmm. typically refers to nearness of place or time. So you have a, it's like... I have an appointment. What <laughs> or, was it? It's like, do you want to go to Jimmy John's? Propinquity. It, it has Propinquity. A, it, there's a very good propinquity to the local Jimmy John's. Propinquity. I hate that. <laughs> I don't like it That's either. That's less of a word than funnily. <laughs> I don't like it either. The point is, funnily... Facetious. Enough. Oh, geez. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I also didn't like King of the Hill, but not because I didn't like it as a kid, but because it uh, was the indicator that it was bedtime. Oh, because it was that's funny. Cartoons would happen. Then King of the Hill was See, the first of the. This is the stuff we don't get as parents. Called? We don't get this. It's so funny. You end up having like we say something like, "Oh, it's good to get up and speak in church. It's like good for you," and you take that as I have to do it. Well, kids it's are the like rule. that. Like, Our I, brains. I, are... I know, and it's unfortunate because as a parent, you you're learning as you go, and you don't really notice this. Yeah. Like I could say something. Nick told me the other day. He still thinks about this. We okay. are in a Costco. And a little person helped us. Oh, I know about this story. And Nick go, Nick's four. Yeah. And Nick looks up to me and goes, Dad, it's a midget. And I went, oh! Like, I was like, oh, you can't say that, buddy. Yeah. Oh, like, that bad. Make like, it, I, yeah. I kind of freaked out like he shouldn't say that out loud. Yeah. Now, You're embarrassed. To, to me, I was just expressing some embarrassment and like, yeah. not a big deal. But to him, it scared him and probably half to death. And the guy laughed and smiled. He didn't care. The yeah. guy, the, the dude. It scared Nick to death. And he felt terrible for days Yeah, that he had said a thing about a guy that he didn't mean to be mean about. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't know, know it was mean. But he didn't he know it was even yeah. taken that way. So he was just saying it and he felt terrible. And well, I didn't realize it was so crushing for him. Yeah, Because when you're a parent, you blow stuff off sometimes. You're just like, oh, everything's fine. It's just he didn't mean to. Anyway, let's yeah, go get Yeah, because you have different dogs. perspective. Yeah, it's weird. It's like Taylor will talk to me about, um, she'll be like, yeah, I don't want to freak Van out with this or I don't want to, you know, the trauma that I'll give him. Dylan talks about it too. And I'm like, yeah. what's funny is you're going to worry about these things that you think will traumatize him, but really it's going to be like something weird it, that you don't even realize is a know. thing until yeah. he's an adult and goes, you know, when you did this and yeah. it freaked me out and it'll be like you were eating ice cream with a fork. And we all, you know speaking, what I mean? speaking of Van, there's a cute picture of him in chat. Um, the reason that I can bring this up is because I there are things in my childhood I, I have like that. Yeah. The, where, the adults where to my get. dad, it was like no big deal. I found a dead, stiff cat in a place my dad owned. It was like a workplace, and we were helping him clean it. We were getting money oh for helping gosh. him clean. I was probably 10. Ugh. And I found a, it stunk in there. We didn't know why. And it was a long, stiff, dead, mm-hmm. flat cat because whatever was under in this, a box, something had crashed on yeah. it and smashed it. Ugh. And I pulled it out, not knowing what it was, and I held it out, and I'm like, ah! And it was like this dead cat. Yeah, nightmares for months. Oh yeah, that and that'll mess a kid up. To my dad, up. just like, oh, you found a dead cat today, Donna. <laughs> yeah, and we just laughed it off, right? Because you don't, you have a different, yeah, vibe when you're older that you don't notice no. the things that kids. The brain that the way yeah. your brain picks stuff up as a kid too, the way that like the chemistry works is dope, so different. Yeah, it's really weird. Everything's more intense when you're little. I agree. Did you have a? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh no, you. Oh, I was saying I didn't like King yeah. of the Hill, not because I didn't like the show, but because it was the first show on, um, what's it called? Adult Swim. That well, would start on Cartoon Network. It didn't start there. No, I know. It was I'm on saying Fox. Oh, you're saying when when, when, they, when I was a kid when they were rerunning it on you'd have yeah, cartoons, yeah. cartoons, and then about nine o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Yeah. I think it was eight thirty was the switchover. Yeah, it would. King of the Hill was the first of the Adult Swim shows to turn on, probably because it was so mild that like kids who were trying to stay up could you could get away with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it would go into the more like intense <laughs> shows, but it was always the indicator of like, uh oh, it's time to get ready for bed. And so I like hated it for a while, yeah. not for its content, but because I knew it meant it was like an alarm. It's like yeah. I knew it means time for bed. Now, all right, I'm going to ask you a question. But in terms of actual shows, yeah. I don't, I can't think of anything that I like when I watched it, didn't like, and like it now. I Most things I didn't think like, of it either. Well, you I know, don't like anymore. You know what either. it's for me? It's anything that was made in the 70s. I hated. Oh. As an adult, for a bunch of time till even just recently. Yeah. 
now I'm way fascinated by Dog Day Afternoon, the Godfather movies. Um, yeah. Weird schlocky stuff from then. It's actually a really insane cinematic time with a lot oh, of freedom. Oh, yeah, it got weird. It got real weird. And as an adult, I'm finally able to kind of appreciate the art that was happening. But as a growing up, I just thought it was just all wood paneling and bad mustaches. I hated it. That's hated so funny. It. Okay, I'm going to test you real quick. Like what episode is this from? Your okay. father and I have done things you can't even imagine. Peggy, even please. Imagine. What's that uh, one? It's the one where Bobby has a girlfriend who's 14 and she's a vegetarian. That's the and one. And he thinks that he's in love with her and it's really awkward. That's the one. It's How about this episode? one? Hank and Peggy Hill, Billy. Do you know which one? Hill, Billy. That's Con. Uh, is it their anniversary episode? Yes, that is correct. Oh, okay. Well, it's... Peggy and Hanks. Peggy and Hanks. Yeah, it's their 20th. And so, uh, who's someone's cooking for them and it's... I forgot. I just saw this. It's a good one, though. Okay, how about this one? I'm about to go down to Taco... Oh, that's a fake one. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. My dad got out. We got to go find him. Dad got out. We got to go find so him. So it was a Cotton Hill episode. Cotton Hill, one of the greatest characters ever made. I'm trying to think which episode I it is. I killed man! It's either the one one of the Japan episodes or You remember what he said? Uh <laughs> You wanna kill a Nazi? You gotta narrow your reedy. <laughs> Dad got out. Wait, I know this. Is it the one where Cotton's working at the at the restaurant? That's the one. Okay. You got it. Wow. How about this Diarrhea. One? I don't know what that's <laughs> Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Okay, how about this one? Oh. Oh, yeah, I hate soccer, yes. <laughs> yes, that's one where Bobby plays soccer, that's and right. he thinks it's a girl sport. Right, Or You're like totally a right. European sport. So Carter has clearly come around <laughs> on the cartoon. I watched it too much, perhaps. Yeah. That and Futurama. Uh, how about this one? The audacity. It's like, this is what you say when someone says, uh, hey, Scott, what's a good free way to edit my audio? The audacity. Just use audacity. <laughs> Um, no, King of the uh, Hill is like ultimate comfort food for me. I can't even explain you it. you want to hear something sad? Something special in it. This yeah. is this probably way too sad <laughs> for sad. the show. Let's hear it. But do you ever... Okay, so I remember reading this thing forever ago that was like, when someone close to you dies, mm. you should never watch the things that you love to watch with them or things you love at all. Why? Because during that grieving time, it can become associated with it. Oh, so you'll never be able to watch it again without thinking about, you know, the dead person or like your grief. Oh, about I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> when I, I think about that all the time, because I just, I don't know why, just sometimes you think about that stuff. And I literally think about like, when you die, yeah. I won't be able to watch King of the Hill for a long time. Oh, that's a shame. Isn't that sad? But what about Futurama? And, uh, no. Uh, no? It's like one of those things where you're like, Fury I will Road. watch <laughs> random nature documentaries that I'll never watch again. Yeah, we do have, like, it would be hard to watch Chicken Run. Yeah. I had that with, when my dad died, He the last movie he saw was Chicken Run. Yeah, that movie's special to our family, yeah. and it's why none of us have seen the second one. Yeah, I'm terrified to see. I can't have it besmirch the memory. Yeah, like, it's, it's got to live sure up to o- something. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah. Is it even out? Yeah. It's it been happened. out a while. It happened then? Yeah. Chicken Run, Nugget something. Something Nuggets. Dawn of the Nugget. Dawn of the Nugget. Uh, currently, it's about their kid. That's not bad. Seven out of ten. No, I've I've heard it's good. I've heard it's really fun. I just it has this like thing to live up to in our family specifically because it's got this association. Well, who plays Rocket? Someone else. Dan- <laughs> Dandy Newton plays Ginger. These aren't the same actors. No, yeah, they didn't do either. Of Zachary the Le- Levi. Fowler's played by David Bradley. I do like that. That's good casting. Mm. I love Fowler. Bella Ramsey is Molly. I love Bella Ramsey. I don't know. Now I feel like I... Uh, why am I looking at this? This yeah, is going to piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, don't forget. Propinquity. Yep, Propinquity. that's right. Uh, here's another thing. Where is it? What's your other thing? Oh, you're thing? also... Oh, we got to think... Do you bring it down here? You don't have it down here. Um, you got the Aliens collection. Oh, yeah. The quad, quad, quadrilogy. Quadrilogy. The one through four. From Mike Bacholik. So it's missing like the good stuff like... Well, it has one and two, which are the best. Yeah. Then it doesn't have... Then three... I like three, but three is controversial. Uh, four is considered bad. There's things I like about it, but it's yeah. it's bad. Um, 
uh, I like bad movies. Prometheus, I love. I it's feel like also divisive, but I love Prometheus. All of my uh, I like the other one. Yeah. The, all my like on the show when we talk about sh- like movies and shows and yeah. stuff, yeah. and I'm always kind of down on a few things. I give bad reviews. I think people misunderstand. I am not a picky person. I love bad films and bad shows. Yeah, I've seen that cartoon you guys watched. Yeah, it down. You just need horrible, but it, the bad things also have to be fun in the at the very least. Yeah, you gotta have a good time. You can't just sit there staring and being like this. I'm not having a good time. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, even if it's bad, that's half of that's so, like the whole that's the film sack philosophy. Yeah. So I love bad films. Yeah. So wrong with that. I'm excited to watch these. Mike Pacholik sent it because I'm recovering and well, I haven't seen any of the and aliens. She hasn't movies. seen any of the movies. And here's what you should do: we were trying, we were arguing about this the other day. We we're yeah. trying to decide the best way. You should go chronological to release, not when they happen in the timeline. Yeah. Because there are things they do that are for example, callbacks. One that are callbacks, yeah. right? There's things in Romulus. You'll go, what is that? Why are you guys all reacting to that? And you need to have seen Alien One to know. Yeah. Or two, even in some cases, or even Prometheus so, in some yeah, stuff. Yeah. We figured we should watch them. From when they've been released. Is that your dog? Yes. Is she scratching She's now? scratching at the door. Ripley! Ripley! You dirty, dirty dog. Psychopath, Text weirdo. mom really quick. Yeah, maybe mom. She probably doesn't know she snuck under there. Probably not. Stealthed right under there. A-hole dog. A-hole dog. Anyway, he sent her this disc and they're all DVDs and I'm excited because you're going to watch them and then you're going to watch the others and then everyone's going to be happy. Yep. I'm always watching old things. I'm never watching new stuff. If you had to guess which <laughs> alien film... Adjusted for inflation, made the most money at the box office. Two. You think two? Aliens? Mm, I, it depends. Because I would think two based on, you know, everyone saw the first one and then everyone freaked out. And You'd went, think. Oh, the second one. Yeah. But I also think maybe Prometheus. Prometheus is the correct answer. Because it's it's the revitalization. Yeah, it was like, oh, it's coming back. And also, back like, and money's Ridley different Scott now. And, yeah. Well, no, but they but it's adjusted for inflation, so they're... they're yeah, but there's more people. Oh, I see what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's more people, and people also see movies more often, I feel like, these days. Less so in theater. these these days. Yes. But Romulus was But pre-COVID. Second. second. The new one is second oh, in, wow. uh, in the thing. Two was pretty high, though, so you're not wrong. Yeah. Uh, you're also watching all the murders happening inside the building. Yes. Still. We caught up on it so alicia had watched all of it and she was like she was saying she wanted to watch the new season with me but i hadn't seen any of the old stuff so we got up on that we're now caught up today is the release of the new one how does she feel about that watching it all over again so that you could she was saying she noticed a lot more things and a lot more hints that's kind of fun to do yeah to do that oh sorry i had a half of a sneeze and a cough <laughs> uh, and a yawn happen at the same time you ever had that yeah Makes your eyes it made water. Made my eyes water yeah. and get puffy. <laughs> That's not good. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. No. I. Uh, it's been fun. So it's been it. good mystery. Did you not stuff. know? Nick told me you didn't know that um, Martin Short was the guy in Arrested Development that yeah, was the, on the, the dude's rocket. Back. Yeah. It's, I throw up because it moves too fast or whatever. Yeah. I love that. That happens. Character. Yeah, that happens. I just never, I didn't like associate, because he's all in stupid makeup. No. <laughs> I just didn't think about it. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> I love him in that. But yeah. also you knew that they were, you knew it was him and Steve Martin. And uh, I love them. The the animated thing. Yeah. What's in uh, Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt. They're so good at that. Yeah. They're good in everything they're in. Both of them. Individually no, and together. They're national treasures. They're wonderful. I. They're great in the show. The one thing is that Selena Gomez is a mumbler. I like her though. Sometimes when she, I don't know why she's chosen to do this because there's parts in the show where she'll speak very clearly. Yeah. And then she's just like, meh, 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 the really? rest of the time. There's been times where we've had to re- like rewind or turn on subtitles because we can't understand what she's saying. I wonder if that's a common thing with her. I really like her. She just kind of talks with her tongue in the back of her throat. I think that she has recovered well from being associated with Bieber things. No, you know? she's great. Like she's a good actress. It's just, she's a little mumble. A little mumbly? Mumbly. Mumbly. Mumbly peg. Do you know what mumbly peg is? You what heard is, of that? What's mumbly peg? It sounds like it's someone named Peg that we're calling mumbly, yeah. but it's not. When you were a kid, I don't know if kids do this anymore, you would all have to stand in a little circle. Someone had a <laughs> retra- or extracted um, pocket knife. Okay. Or any knife. It didn't matter. This doesn't sound good. And you would like, whoever was it would have to take that thing, flick it in the air, and hope that it rotated around and either stabbed the grass or landed on the handle on someone's foot, but not stabbed their foot. Holy that, hell. At least that's what we called it. We called that mumbly peg, but I'm not even sure that's the original game. Why would you do this? Because kids are stupid. 
Oh my gosh. Dude, we were, I paid we a, were not allowed to have knives when I, I was a kid. I paid a kid 50 cents to suck on a dog's pregnant nipple. Or, or sorry, she had already had her puppies and she was milked. She was milked. You That's know. disgusting. It was really gross. Why would you do that? 50 cents. That could, <laughs> because this kid was, why would he do it? Like, I think he's a lawyer now. Wow. You uh, have some some be- some beef? What the hell's wrong with me? I, some beef. Some. You have some. <laughs> I want some beef. Is that... <laughs> What are you talking about? Like some stuff on him. Oh, like, I have like some dirt mail. on him. Dirt. Dirt. Why, <laughs> dirt and beef. Why was it beef? <laughs> Grade A <laughs> quality chopped dirt. Oh, it's wrong No, but me. look, I'm going to go. Next time he's doing a court case, I'm going to stand up in court and go, Your Honor, I object. And he'll say, Who are you? And I'll say, This man sucked, <laughs> sucked a on a dog's, dog's nipple. nipple while she was <laughs> milked or her milk had come in for 50 cents. I rest my case. And he'll just say, Bailiff, please remove this man from the courtroom. Get him out of here. Ban him from ever coming in here yeah. again and charge him with disorderly public nuisancy. Nuisancy. Um, I think that's it for today. All right. Let's see if we got anything else that uh, anything. we can maybe do one more of these. All oh, right. Monday show question. Okay. My grown kids have started talking about who's going to take care of me when I get old. I'm only, he says, I'm only 50. Is this normal? Have you and your brother or sister talked about this? What's funny is you're the one who always talks about it. You're always like, when I'm old, who's going to take care of me? No, I don't say that. I say... Who's going to change my diapers? Like Carter will say, I'm never changing a baby's diaper. And I'm like, do it so you can get used to it because you're going to have to change mine. It's not happening. Why? Not happening. How? What are you going to do? Pay someone. Really? Yeah. But it's the greatest I will sacrifice not you can make. change your diaper. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> my dad, when her dad, when my mom's dad, stepdad, uh, had cancer. Yeah. He went to the hospital every day to help and do things. And part of that was he would change his bedpan and his bum. Yeah. And it was this, it was act of love and, what a, and commitment. And it's I, not even a relationship. I agree. To him. I think that's very kind and lovely that he did but that. But you're not going to do I'm it. I'm not going to do it. All right. Tay might do it. I don't want people to change my diaper. Don't get me wrong. Ooh. I'd rather never need that if I can help I'll it. I'll buy you the best professional diaper changer there is, Dad. I used to think it was crazy when people said, oh my gosh, if I get to that stage, just kill me. Kill me before I get there or whatever people yeah. say that all the time. And I always think, come on, dude, you're fine. That's what we do. We all take care of each other. Yeah. But the older that you get, you start to do. go, oh, if that's me, <laughs> just unplug it. Just, yeah. I'll be done. I'm good. I can go. If I don't know what's going on anymore, yeah, I'd want to be unplugged. Yeah. Like if I'm fully not aware of anything and I'm uh, and I'm miserable, we can have a DNR or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Do not resuscitate. But that's only if you die first. <laughs> they're not gonna. Re- they're not gonna not resuscitate you from being alive. <laughs> well, wait. Hold on. Doctor Tolbert's in the house. How does it work when <laughs> a DNR is only basically if you crash, like yeah. if all your st- vitals you know drop and you don't have a heartbeat well, what if they a machine, won't revive you what if a machine is keeping you alive I, I think there's something you can say that says no i want to have a pull the plug clause probably there's probably something i'll just give my nurse a couple bucks and be like hey <laughs> he dr tolbert has left oh he says no life-saving measures that's what it is no life-saving oh so basically don't plug me in either yeah if i need a machine don't plug me in don't plug me in that's a song is it no <laughs> um well anyway yeah this the conversation starts happening right around the age that you are a uh, listener they didn't say who they are so i don't know but yeah if it's a mom or dad but you know 50 a lot of my friends who are in their 50s now are they're having they're raising little kids now that's weird they're like four and five year old kids i mean it's i'm sure it's normal it just feels weird because i'm i mean like my sister is raising four or five year old child right but there's people your age doing the same thing it's so strange to but me but when i when i was so me and mom i was married what was i 23 got married 24 or 5 had tay four i think it was right before my birthday okay and, and then you guys three years apart so yep. by the time when mom was my age yeah. she had three children right so by the time i'm 30 in 2010 hold on that's not right yeah <laughs> Oh, no, no. Before I had turned 40, Nick was 10. He's the youngest. Yeah. You the guys are 30 you. years apart, you and Nick. Yeah. Yeah. You I had were, when I was you 30. Were 30. That's and, right. Yeah. So when I hear about my friends who are like 52 and they just had a baby and they're and it's normal to them, 
it just seems crazy to me. And it's just because we started so damn early. Yeah, totally different. It's really weird. Paths. Really strange. And now you guys are doing more things that, you know, 20 year olds usually do. Oh, are we? Mid 20s. Well, just traveling more. Oh, yeah. Doing more, more like. More fun stuff. Yeah, more fun stuff and less. Yeah, because we did it early. Kid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Except sometimes we were watching a lot of kids, but we like it because we like the yeah, little you're kids. We're watching the grandbabies. The grandbabies. Babies. Um, all right. Well, there's We do that. sometimes fight over uh, what we're going to get when you die. <laughs> well. <laughs> Really? Well, just sometimes we'll be like, I want that. Like what? When you die. Like what? Like I've claimed... Um, I don't have valuable things. We've already agreed. No, it's not valuable things. It's sentimental things. Like what? Like um, the... I don't know where it is. My it's skeleton? usually your thing. No. <laughs> it's usually in here, but I don't know where you put it. Um, the arcade cabinet sign you made oh, it's over, when you were a teenager. Over here somewhere. The... Cops that. and Robbers game. I can't remember what it's called. Lock and Chase. Lock and Chase. Like I've that. claimed that one. Just for the record, that one's mine. You get to have that? Yeah. That one's a big deal. I was 14 when I did yeah, that. I love that one. Honestly, I'll probably take most of your art, all your drawing junk and all that stuff. I do have a lot of crap. I should get rid of it all. No. Oh, good news. No, if you you're, shouldn't. If you're anyone in our community who bought, one, it. bought one of these on the store. It's so pretty. There's, whoops, let me get a full screen here. This is, um, these are shipping soon. I think they're arriving today, tomorrow, maybe, maybe the next day. But sometime this week, um... They come from who made them, or from our manufacturer, and then they're all going to get. They look really set. pretty. Giant game mats. I'm so proud of them. So happy with them. I'm excited. I'm going to start working with Taylor to make one one of my own. You should. Which I'm excited about. You should. These are great. I mean, the only problem I have with them is you got to lock into minimums, and you have to like yeah. hope your pre-orders match the minimums. But Tay's but good at that stuff. She is very good at it. You're right. She's fantastic. Uh, that's it for today's show. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to uh, to go to our Patreon. Oh, I thought I pasted it in here. Did I put it on the wrong page? How could you? Yeah, I did. Paul Rettlinger. Rettlinger. Rainbow Bright. Ben. Ryan Kenny and Mark One Hundred and One. Is it Ryan Kenny or Ryan and Kenny? Ryan Kenny. Okay, one name. One name. Okay. Two first names. Two Ryan first names. Kenny. One name. Yeah, that'd be like you could be Ken <laughs> Ryan. You could be. Oh, I was asking this on Threads today. Do you think anyone's ever been an actual hillbilly whose name is Billy Hill? Bill Hilly. So Billy Hill lives. Billy Hill, the hillbilly, or Bill There's Hill. There's got to be Bill someone Hilly. named Bill, like Bill Hill. Bill Hill. Right, but, but like William whether Hill? or not they're a Bill hillbilly can't talk anymore. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, that was so bad. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> what are you a hundred? <laughs> Um, anyway, they giant, they joined, they signed up over at patreon.com slash the Monday show. You'll get no ads. You'll get art and stickers and avatars and all kinds of cool stuff. Two stickers coming at once in September, by the way. Yep. Carter's adding hers to mine that I finished and you will, so you'll be getting, I've said this on Patreon, but just to tell you again, for those people at that level, you're going to get two in one next month. Yes. Okay. Your August and September stickers will be coming together. That's right. Pre-show bonus content as well all kinds of cool reasons to sign up and honestly not one not two go check it out patreon.com slash the monday show everything else is at frogpants.com slash monday and keep those texts coming that's what we've been reading all show 801-471-0462 we also have a discord you're happy to you're happy you're welcome to hang out in you're there. happy to hang out i hope you're happy in there i don't know <laughs> carter is there anything else you'd like to add uh, I, as I recover, am going to start streaming again. I've been skipping oh, yeah. the past couple weeks. That's good to mention. Um, also, yeah. also, her store is over at, oh, to, hold on, misscarter.art. Yes, misscarter.art yep. is then my store. Buy some of her cool stuff and then watch for her streams coming. Yep, I'm her streaming. Her and Alicia, where they get all makeuped up, make up. up and yep. I'm Miss Carter J on both YouTube and Twitch. Yep. Uh, I stream to both. But yeah, I think this Thursday I'll be streaming and also Sunday. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at you. Part back in the saddle again. Back in the saddle. That'll do it for us. Thank you all for listening. See you next time. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Yes. Get more at frogpants.com. What? <laughs> what?